bring in Srikanth Kandapali. He joins us from New Delhi. He's a professor of international relations at Jawaharlal and Nehru University in India's capital. Thanks so much for being with us. So let me ask you, first of all, uh, Indonesia's government, which is hosting this summit, has said that this should not be uh, a forum for sharpening divisions. But is there a risk we could be seeing just that with the tensions uh, over access to the South China Sea and East China Sea? Uh, that's a major concern uh, within the uh, meeting today, uh, yesterday, and since the 6th. Uh, I think there is um, uh, the issue of South China Sea and East China Sea that Vice President Harris had raised uh, in terms of no unilateral action and uh, status quo should be maintained in those uh, places. Um, the Chinese have, off have been offering a code of conduct which is not binding on any uh, signatories. Uh, and uh, so this is a major concern because the new uh, map that was published a few days ago by the Ministry of Natural Resources in China had included many of these areas within uh, Chinese uh, jurisdiction, the nine dashed line in South China Sea. Uh, and this has triggered a lot of concern among Vietnam, Philippines, uh, Malaysia and other countries. Uh, but I think the significance of the uh, meeting is also in other four areas, uh, including the adoption of the ASEAN Concord 4. Uh, it's a new uh, blueprint for the ASEAN, uh, you know, kind of unity, resilience, uh, and so on and so forth, given, uh, as uh, it has been discussed right now, uh, on U.S.-China differences on decoupling or de-risking strategies, and that has divided the ASEAN members as with the entire globe on the uh, U.S.-China rivalry because it, at, it attempts to disturb the trade investments and markets uh, across the globe. So Concord 4 is the major adoption uh, from this meeting uh, in Jakarta. Then there is also the uh, Myanmar issue has been mentioned. Uh, the Myanmaris have been refusing to accept the peace plan proposed by the ASEAN members, and this has resulted not just in terms of the regional stability issues, given the Rohingyas uh, migration to Bangladesh, as the Bangladesh president mentioned in this meeting, but also to the, uh, to the regional security aspects uh, in this region. Uh, the third issue, I think, is uh, the um, climate change uh, related matters, uh, which is a major concern in the ASEAN. Uh, and then there is also the comprehensive strategic partnership agreements with some member states that uh, this East Asian Summit meeting had uh, been able to cobble up. Uh, so there are a number of developments that are happening. But I think as being discussed now, uh, there is the US-China uh, kind of rivalry. As a senior minister from Singapore once mentioned, the uh, US-China rivalry is creating the problem of choosing between the United States mm -hmm. and China, or on, China by these sure. states. If I could just jump here for, here for a sec, because on, on US-China, what do you read into the fact that the, the big powers are not being represented here by their heads of government? They've sent their, their number twos uh, instead, uh, if you will. Kamala Harris, the vice president, is there instead of Joe Biden. Um, Li Chiang, the Chinese premier, is there instead of, of Xi Jinping. Is, that, is there a message there in itself? Uh, I think in terms of the U.S. president, uh, if you remember, the uh, President Biden had skipped the uh, Quad meeting in uh, Australia uh, a few months ago, uh, and uh, uh, his wife is tested uh, uh, positive for the COVID, uh, while President Biden uh, is uh, negative. Uh, so there, is, there must be uh, this factor, health factor, for the United States president. Uh, in the case of uh, President Xi Jinping, uh, uh, there are a number of reports about the economic decline of the United States. Uh, last year, they grew at 3.3%, and this year, they estimated 55 But uh, many indicators, the PMI, the Manufacturing Index, uh, suggests to a lower output uh, in China in the first half of this year. Uh, so this has created unemployment in China of nearly 21%. Uh, some suggest 46% uh, unemployment. And... The real estate uh, uh, downfall reflected in Evergrande and other companies. Uh, this is a major issue that uh, Xi Jinping is trying to address. Uh, 
uh, besides uh, other issues like uh, the uh, intra-party factional struggles, uh, if you remember, there is uh, the Peitai Ha meeting, uh, and uh, it appears that the party elders criticized uh, Xi Jinping for the handling of the economy and handling of the relations with the United States, which were quite okay. stable since Deng okay. Xiaoping time in 1978. Good to get your uh, good to get your perspective on this uh, Srikanth uh, Konda Pali. Thanks very much for being with us.